I'll be talking to you guys about a monotheist versus polytheist. Monotheist is the belief of one religion and one God, and polytheist is the belief of more than one God. For example, Islam is a monotheist religion because we only believe in one God. Hinduism is a belief is a polytheist religion because they believe in more than one God. Why can't there be more than one God in this world? Allah sent the prophets down, and all the prophets claim to believe in one God. If there was more than one God, each prophet, I mean each God, would send their own prophet, and we don't see that. All 140,000 prophets claim to believe in one God. Allah said this in the Quran. لو كان فيهما آلهة إلا الله لفزلت فسبحان الله رب العرش عما يصفون Had there been any gods in the heaven and the earth apart from Allah, the order of both the heaven and the earth would have gone to ruins. Manifest polytheism or al-shirk al-jali. It's people who are polytheists and it's very obvious that they are, so it's not hidden. Okay, I have a question for you guys. Have you ever prayed just to get something from your parents? Have you? No? Okay, that's good. I have another question. Can there be polytheism in a Muslim? Remember, polytheism is the belief of more than one God. No? Okay, that's a good answer. But Allah answered this differently in the Quran for us. He says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, وَمَا يُؤْمِنُ أَكْثَرُهُمْ بِاللَّهِ إِلَّا وَهُمْ مُشْرِكُونَ which means, and most of them do not believe in Allah without associating others with Him. The Quran mentioned hidden polytheism or shirk al khafi. It's called hidden because nobody can easily notice it. It originates from wrong intentions. For example, you're praying just to show off. You're not praying for the intention of Allah. So your intention is not for Allah, which is very wrong. It's a type of hidden polytheism. The second type of hidden polytheism is putting somebody before Allah's commands. That's like saying somebody is greater than Allah. For example, your friends are going to a nightclub and they invite you over. And you go even though you know this is haram and Allah doesn't want us to do, do these things. And you still go. And this, is, and this is a type of hidden polytheism. The third type of hidden polytheism is putting our own desires before Allah's commands. This is not having self-control or not knowing what's the limit. For example, you're home alone and you think um, nobody's watching you and you think you could do like bad things or watch bad things, look at bad things, but this is not the case because Allah's watching us and this is a type of hidden polytheism. I have another question for you guys. Who do you think when you get new clothes or food or get a new game? Aida. What do you say? I can't hear you. Okay, that's a good answer. The fourth type of hidden polytheism is not thanking Allah. We always forget that Allah is the source of everything. Everything originates from Allah. But still thank your parents and thank whoever gives you help, but don't forget to thank Allah. Prophet Ibrahim reached such a high level compared to other prophets. He became Khalid Allah or the close friend of Allah, all because he acknowledged Allah for all his blessings. There's a story about Imam Jafar Sadiq that we should all learn from. The story goes like this. The Imam Jafar Sadiq was sitting with his friends eating grapes and a beggar came to him and asked him for some help. So the Imam gave, um, offered him some grapes but the beggar rejected and asked him for some money. The Imam said, well, I don't have any money and the beggar walked away. Another beggar came to the Imam and asked him for some help. The Imam then offered him some grapes and this beggar accepted those grapes and I thanked Allah for those grapes. And then, so the Imam gave him more grapes. So the beggar then again thanked Allah for those grapes. So the Imam again gave him money. So this beggar thanked Allah for those for that money until this Imam Imam Jafar Sadiq salam gave him his garment. And then this beggar didn't thank Allah and thanked Imam. So the Imam stopped giving him anything. The moral of the story is that we should always thank Allah. In conclusion. We talked about monotheism and polytheism, hidden shirk or a shirk al khafi, manifest polytheism, which is a shirk al jari, and four types of hidden polytheism. And us Muslims should try to stay away from having any type of hidden polytheism or, yeah. Any questions? No? Okay. Thank you for listening to my speech. I hope you learned something and salawat.